I have to see the people that did such a good job for me. And Despite warnings from Democratic leaders, including Wisconsin's governor and the mayor of Kenosha, that President Donald Trump not go to the Midwestern city at a moment of heightened racial tensions, Trump, undeterred, said he's flying to Kenosha on Tuesday to meet with the officers involved in last week's response. That it could exacerbate tensions and increase violence. Do you give any uh, consideration Well, it that? could also increase enthusiasm and it could increase uh, love and respect for our country. And that's why I'm gone, because they did a fantastic job. As soon as I called and told them, let's go, uh, the whole problem stopped. That was it. Trump plans to meet with business owners and survey the damage resulting from protests in the aftermath of the police shooting of 29-year-old Jacob Blake in front of his three children on August 22nd. Kenosha's Democratic Mayor John Antaramian, hours before Trump's news conference on Monday, encouraged the president to take the trip at a different time when emotions are less raw. It would be better for us to be able to pull together, let the community get together, and actually heal up the process of what's going on. So it would have been nice if it had waited a while a little longer down the road, but it is what it is. Protests engulfed Kenosha after Blake's family said he was left paralyzed. The Kenosha clashes turned deadly last week. Police arrested a white 17-year-old from Illinois and charged him with first-degree homicide for allegedly killing two people with a military-style semi-automatic rifle during a nighttime protest. Well, I spoke with the pastor, wonderful man, the family's pastor. Trump on Monday said he doesn't plan on meeting with Blake's family, but sent his regards through their family pastor.